Personal story segment tonight, the anti-war movement in America remains tiny. And the most attention-getting part of it is Code Pink, starring Cindy Sheehan. Recently, the pink people traveled to Cuba through Cancun, Mexico, to demonstrate against Guantanamo Bay. Now, that takes money. And Mrs. Sheehan does not have a job. She is a 24-7 protester. So, who pays? Joining us now from Washington, Matthew Vadim, whose newsletter, Organization Trends, has investigated Code Pink. Um, Thanks Sheehan, for having me on today, sure, Bill. Sure. Ms. Sheehan is, runs all over the world, all right, and there's no visible means of support. She's out on the road all the time. She's got to stay in hotels, down in Cancun, did planes, this, that, and the other thing. Somebody's got to be giving her money. Do you know who it is? Well, at Capital Research Center, we did a report on, on uh, Code Pink and Cindy Sheehan in December, and uh, we found a number of things. We didn't find where Cindy Sheehan's money was coming from specifically, but we do know about Code Pink's funding. Uh, she's not on the executive of Code Pink, but she's probably their most famous spokeswoman, their no poster question. child. No question. And Code Pink is run on a shoestring budget. Uh, there's a nonprofit called... Uh, um, called Environmentalism Through Inspiration and Nonviolent Action, based in Malibu, California. And their budget for Code Pink was only $130,000 on the latest uh, tax return. And that's hardly anything. Now, uh, I don't know where Cindy Sheehan gets her money from. Maybe she gets speaking fees. Maybe there's money that's not declared. I, I, don't, I have no idea. I'm just speculating. But one of their um, leaders is Medea Benjamin, who I know you're familiar with. She was right. born Susie Benjamin and then as some sort of a strange feminist statement, re renamed herself Medea after a Greek mythological figure her m who murdered her own children in order to, uh, in order to take revenge on her husband. Uh, and she's a, a major communist sympathizer, and she's independently wealthy. She's a trust fund baby. All right, so she's so, got money. Um, Barbara Streisand has kicked money to these people the as Barbara well, The Barbara right? Streisand Foundation has given thousands of dollars uh, to uh, Code Pink, as has um, the Tides Foundation. The Tide Foundation is uh, tied in with George Soros and those people? Uh, yeah, I think it's tied in with, uh, with Soros and, uh, and with others. Okay, so there's, there's a labyrinth of money here that it's hard to track, right? It's hard for you to find out who's paying these people's bills because they don't want, nobody wants to be really associated with this kind of a radical situation. Well, that's right. Now, some nonprofits uh, uh, and, and foundations are very upfront, very transparent and they declare where their money is going or where their money is coming from, but uh, Code Pink is not one of them. Okay, they're going to be, have to be audited by the IRS. They've, they're kind of new, but you've got to figure that they have to put out a statement, and the IRS has got to be looking at Ms. Sheehan if she's being paid a salary. We don't know that. We don't know what she's being But you've got to assume she is. I mean, this woman's got to live. Um, well, eventually they're going to have to file what's called an, uh, an IRS tax form 990, which is a nonprofit for a tax-exempt organization. And eventually, if she's getting money from them, they're going to have to declare it. Okay. Now, the Fenton Group, a big Washington, D.C. PR firm, which is a far-left organization, they're involved with Code Pink as well, correct? Um, I'm not sure if they're involved with, uh, with Code Pink, but they're... Uh, Code Pink's public relations approach is so sophisticated that one might think that uh, that David Fenton of Fenton Communications. Well, we uh, oftentimes when we want to track them down, we go through that the Fenton Group people. Now I don't know if there's a formal relationship or not. Yeah, but I don't know if they're on retainer, so I just wanted to be careful in the way that I that I worded it. But yeah, I don't think they'd be on retainer. It's, I don't think it's Code a, Pink it's a has that kind of approach. Money. Yeah. So basically what we're looking at here is we're looking at a phantom group that runs all over the world, that goes to Cancun, Mexico, flies into Cuba, gets to Guantanamo Bay, gets out of Cuba, goes all over the place, and we really don't know who's giving them the money. Yeah, I, I, at Capital Research Center, we're trying to find out, and we know some of the sources of Code Pink's money, but not all of their sources. All right. Well, we're going to keep an eye on the IRS thing, and uh, they'll have to declare pretty soon. So when we They're have going it, to have to soon. Let us know.